Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction to another AI sponge. No, I'm just kidding. It's an AI sponge. I lied to you. It is SpongeBob though. So don't, don't run away. Come back. Uh, this is Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 official SpongeBob spot, 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 sponge light, ah, SpongeBob light, light bob, ah, SpongeBob square light, ah, SpongeBob boob, mud, mud, mud butt, SpongeBob spot, spot, SpongeBob Spotlight. God damn it. Anyway, so I, 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 whatever. Anyway, I got Sponge Brain, except I don't soak up info. It's just like one of those dirty ass sponges that can't do shit anymore. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Please, somebody help me. I'm losing my mind. Anyway, so this is a Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2, of course, which comes out in not too long, a little over two months at this point. Uh, of course, it comes out along with every other game in the world in October. If you look at October, I need to do a video. And just show everybody. If you don't know, October is insane this year. It's fucking nuts. And we're getting closer to October and nobody's delaying anything. So it's just like one of those things like, oh no. I thought we'd get like one or two delays. So far, it looks like we're good. You know, unless they, I mean, the next couple weeks we'll, we'll see. Maybe, maybe even early September we might see some delays. But we'll... It's insane. I mean, to be fair, a lot of the things coming out in October are very different things. You know, you got a Mario game, you got this, you got you got a, a, a horror game. I got two horror games actually. I got Alan Wake Two and Alone in the Dark. Then you got Sp Spider Man Two, of course. I got I said Mario already. Um, well, just in case you didn't hear Mario, this new one, uh, this new Assassin's Creed. Game. There's so many games, so many. There's a DreamWorks car racing game, which I don't even think they released a trailer for yet. I'm still waiting for that one. Anyway, maybe they haven't. I just wanted a radar. I don't know. Anyway, so let's let's check out the SpongeBob spotlight. Spe oh no, it's too low. No, no, no. Wait, what? That says high as it. No, okay. Oh wait, wait. I know why. Hold on. I turned down my shit. So it should be good now. Still pretty low, but alright. Our move fearsome. Oh, okay. I get, I get one. Never mind. Bubble blowing expertise and his trusty hydrodynamic spatula with port and starboard attachments. SpongeBob has all I the love tools the you'll need to thrive yeah, in Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. He's got the, oh, he's got the freaking hat. SpongeBob is an oh, yeah. all rounder type ah. character with a straightforward move perfect for being. Hey, stop slapping my bay. Experienced players who just like to make the most <laughs> out of simple tools. His light up and yeah, down attacks are so great good. for launching and juggling opponents until it's time to start what, using his aerials. What is with the white food beating? This is bullshit. Air, which has a wide arc and pops opponents upwards. And his forward air, which has a powerful spiking sweet spot. I hate this. This is, this is actually the character I played the most Once in. you're ready to end your combo, hey, his side and upcharged air attacks are great choices at high percents. On the subject of charged oh, no, attacks, no. it's quickly worth mentioning that every character has three on the ground. And three in the air. So it looks like it's a lot of the same maps, but it just redid them, has make them look better. Jimmy and isn't the fastest character by any means, so he mostly has to rely on his <laughs> special. Table's like, get the fuck out of here! Control the stage and find an opening. This one's going crazy. His side special, Fishbowl so Strike, can also be a solid approach option thanks to its surprising speed and an ability to absorb a small amount of damage before getting knocked out of the attack. Okay. Additionally, Fishbowl Strike can be used as a recovery tool to get a little bit closer to the oh, stage oh, before oh, using oh, his up special. Nice. This move does a good job of cool. covering SpongeBob's head while it's out. Yeah. But keep in mind, you can only grab the ledge Shame towards the end, so don't aim too high. In the yeah. event that your aim is slightly off, maybe uh, try spending yeah. some of your slime meter to cancel the move. So and if you get too safety. high above it, you can't grab the ledge. Or right. better yet, if you're craving something a little more advanced, so try canceling like, go the move and drop into down. an airstrong. Yeah. Or even better, better yet, cancel it into his down special, Chef Flip, and combo that into a finisher. If you land a hit with Chef Flip, you can cancel the move immediately by jumping. And they gotta show his ultimate. Oh, look, he's got the, um... And as a nice bonus, it can also redirect I know that costume. Bounds. What the fuck was that? Yeah. If you're just looking uh, for uh, a place Mermaid to find your uh, uh, SpongeBob assistant, right? is a great place to start. Once you get comfortable with the game's mechanics and SpongeBob's own tools, see where your imagination leads Imagination. You. Oh, I was just hoping to show... Uh, does that, maybe, maybe it's because they already showed it in the trailer that we got during EVO. Um, but I'm hoping if they do a character spotlight video for everybody, uh, we get to see, um, more, uh, more ultimates. Cause I want to see them. <laughs> uh, I guess they could save them and then I could do a video just watching them all. I, my, that might be fun too. I'm going to do that for Mortal Kombat. That's for sure. When it comes to, you know, they're very different games in, in a way. <laughs> you know, they have, they have finishing moves in a way, but you know, a little, one's a little different than the other. I do really like what they're doing with the um, slime gauge in this game. So it, it looks like it's going to really... The first game, I think, was a solid game. Like a solid, like, 7... 7.5, I thought. Yeah, I would say 7 just because of how quickly it died on Xbox, sadly. Um, 
on Xbox. It, I know it, it. I think it's actually doing pretty well on Switch right now. I think it, they lowered the price to like like eight bucks or something like that, and it's like number. It's in the top ten best selling. So I'm sure that has a little bit of a community there. I think on PC also was doing pretty well for a little while, but uh, on Xbox it was like, I think it had some server issues, and then by the time it fixed, like there was nobody playing it, which is not surprising considering xbox always dies first when it comes to fighting games um but uh yeah uh anyway that was cool nice spongebob was looking sick i love the new animations i don't like that he was beating the shit out of april o'neill but I'll, I'll forgive well i'll decide to forget maybe not forgive <laughs> i'll forget i'll forget what happened anyway, that's it bye